Chachma Shaloma, Wisdom of Solomon, 6. Hear therefore, O ye kings, and understand. Learn, ye that be judges of the ends of the earth. Give ear, ye that rule the people, and glory in the multitude of nations. For power is given you of Yahuwah, and sovereignty from El Elyan, who shall try your works and search out your counsels. Because, being ministers of his kingdom, ye have not judged aright, nor kept the Torah, nor walked after the counsel of Elohim. Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you, for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places, for mercy will soon pardon the meanest, but mighty men shall be mightily tormented. For he which is Yahuwah over all shall fear no man's person, neither shall he stand in awe of any man's greatness, for he has made the small and great, and cares for all alike. But a sore trial shall come upon the mighty. Unto you, therefore, O kings, do I speak, that ye may learn wisdom, and not fall away. For they that guard holiness purely shall be judged holy, and they that have learned such things shall find what to answer. Wherefore, set your affection upon my words, desire them, and ye shall be instructed. Wisdom is glorious and never fades away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her, and found of such as seek her, she presents, rather, prevents them that desire her in making herself first known unto them. Whoso seeks her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at his doors. To think, therefore, upon her is perfection of wisdom, and whoso watches for her shall quickly be without care. For she goes about seeking such as are worthy of her, shows herself favorably unto them in the ways, and meets them in every thought. For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, and the care of discipline is love. And love is the keeping of her Torah, and the giving heed unto her Torah is the assurance of incorruption. And incorruption makes us near unto Elohim. Therefore, the desire of wisdom brings to a rather, therefore, the desire of wisdom brings to a kingdom. If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. As for wisdom, what she is and how she came up, I will tell you and will not hide mysteries from you, but will seek her out from the beginning of her nativity and bring the knowledge of her into light and will not pass over the truth. Neither will I go with consuming envy, for such a man shall have no fellowship with wisdom. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world, and a wise king is the upholding of the people. Receive, therefore, instruction through my words, and it shall do you good.